Greetings my fellow heroes, JLB, and I'm back with a, another reaction video to the newest episode of the Super Paw subseries of Paw Patrol. This time we're dealing with two emergencies in one episode. Two old villains have returned. To my somewhat surprising happiness. But anyway, enough talk. Let's get going. We've got a city to save. And I'm telling you right now, I am really excited to see what's going to happen in this episode. Well, to be honest, I had a live stream on my Instagram beforehand. So, technically, I already seen this episode, but I gave it a little bit of time to uh, fade away, if you will. So that way I could be ready for this reaction video. And again, two emergencies, uh, two superpowered emergencies, I should say, one episode. And with that, let's get on going. Okay, we got... Huh? Bell Day? Okay, I've heard... Okay. Adventure Bay's mayor having a chicken for a pet, that's one thing. But this is completely on another level of bizarre. I know that some towns have, uh... Ah, possum. That kind of that kind of further proves that, it's, that that saying is kind of canon, other than just outside the Paw Patrol wiki. But like I said... Ugh, this is exactly why I can't really stand Chicoletta. She's just there for comic relief, in a way. Mayor Goodway, any mayor, whether they're anime or not, should not have a chicken for a pet. They're farm animals. Uh-oh. Ladybird. She's back to her old school thieving ways. Hmm? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So she's found the vault where it's held. Hey, the Mighty Twins, Tuckanella! Took the words right out of my mouth. She took a small piece of the meteor. And at least she put it somewhere safe. Oh, great. That's the last thing we need. And how? Where does she escape to anyway? She's got her... She's got her... She's got her suit back, too. It's Lady Bird. A chicken with spunk? I don't like... Oh no. That does not look good. She absorbs some of the meteor's power. I wonder what kind, what kind of disaster that could make. What in the world? It's... It's Clunkzilla. Time for the Mighty Pups to roll out! 
By the way, I always wonder I was wondering where Tuck and Ella got their new pup tags. I think they might have found got them between episodes. Ugh. <laughs> Marshall. And so, the tower becomes a mighty tower. The heroes are powered up. The supersonic jet is ready for takeoff. And our heroes are ready. High speed chase and rubble. Rock and rubble. I call him. I just prefer his name. But then again. Ah, here's where I get here's where I give you the name my own created superhero names for the Mighty Twins. Ella, I called her Giantess. I thought about Giant Girl, but Giant Giantess seems a little bit better. And as for Tuck, well, I thought about Tiny Man, but then I thought, why not Little Man? And there they go. With their super-powered paws powering their vehicles, the Mighty Pups race to the rescue to stop both a flying thief and a giant chicken. And we're going to pause it there, and we'll be right back with part two.